Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode 2 of the Red Dead Redemption playthrough. Once again, first time, uh, you know, playing the Red Dead story, Red Dead Redemption story. Um, and I left myself on a cliffhanger, clearly, as you can see in the last episode. If you guys enjoy this series, make sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe, turn on notifications. Also, I'm streaming this series on Trobo. Uh, every night, I'm going to be doing one episode. Tonight, I'm doing it around uh, 9 p.m. EST, so expect around that time, usually. Um, but yeah, so if you want to stop by, Relay CS on Trobo. And uh, yeah, guys, so if you enjoy it, drop a like. That's pretty much all I have to say. Let's get right into it. We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what, 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. <laughs> when we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough nothing. of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Here. They need to go hunt. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted offal. Starving will be preferable. Come why on, didn't Why didn't they just butcher the wolves that I could butcher. killed yesterday? You can stay here listening to you two. Look at this game in, in the notes, previous I'll episode. Find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. <coughs> Here, you take this. I can't use it and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. All right, so we're gonna hunt. This way. This is gonna be exciting. I can't so, miss, dude. You reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. Yeah, the winds aren't as strong. It's we'll not like, this way. still a blizzard, find but it's not as bad. Ground. Hopefully we see an animal here soon. I wonder what type of animal I'm gonna have to kill. Probably a deer, maybe like a boar. We'll see. There's some patches of grass here. This is good. That means something was laying Let's down. Let's try this way. Keep your eyes peeled for movement. <laughs> the wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh. Stay quiet. Gotta stay quiet. I see it. I see one. I see one. I see one. I see one. See him? Yeah, I see him. Quick, get that bow out, Arthur. Aim for their head or neck. We want a good, clean kill. You can pull back quite hard. You'll feel when it's too much. Quick. Boom, oh, baby! Now let's try for another. Look at that aim, bro. There's another one up there, see it? That's natural aim! Yep, that is something. One. Got it. Boom! Well done. I think that's all we can carry. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hands are okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my I shoulder. just put it. Okay, I just want to let you guys know that is not realistic. 
This deer probably weighs like over 100, 100 something pounds. Carrying this on your shoulder for long is not, not realistic at all. Dude, what a shot by me though. I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. Yeah, why are they People are still staying waiting. here? Well, you've seen yeah, how still be, in yeah, those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what that? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding the old Driscoll a damn thing. <laughs> Except maybe that cat I forgot they have him hostage, though. She's kind enough to give us. The girl, she has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with them? I have a feeling that girl is not what she says she is. We'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? I think maybe she's secretly an El Driscoll. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. But who knows? That's just He's a conspiracy. Weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well... We've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Cone, and Dutch go way back. But not in a good way. A proper blood feud. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. Let's kill it, bro. What are you doing? Shoot! Shoot! No! I was trying to get my gun out and every- Dude, I didn't- I didn't think I'd die, man. Yeah, just- Thank you. We ain't ever talked that much, you and me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Alright, I won't like shoot that. at the bear. <laughs> I wanted to pull out my gun, though, and it wouldn't let me. What? Any of this? Blackwater mess? Being up here? I just love hunting in this game so much. Sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. And I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, oh, not at all. I just I know you could run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. I was wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. I guess we passed the checkpoint. Fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Huh? 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. Taught me to read. 
John, too. Tell me a few other things, Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Just save me. Save most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. Dutch is the one who wanted to kill Calm. I guess he's like the old horse. man leader, huh? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. Huh. I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. You got a problem with that horse? Chill, bro. It's my horse, man. I ain't got a problem with nothing. I ain't got a problem with nothing, man. Well, well, well. <clears throat> Just drop it down in here. What a surprise. Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. Why, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? <laughs> Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'm gonna be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. I'll get to skin you. <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You Sounds good, Charles. Dumped on the floor there. Look how cool, cool this is when you skin the deer, dude. So cool. Watch. It's actually like realistic. Huh. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, they always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town if you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. <laughs> We're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> Alright, well, the hunting job is done. A few days later, here we go. A few days later. It's been a bad few weeks. But Dutch. Being Dutch, he is busy making plans, and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respects, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here, then? I owe you. Yeah, and you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur, I think it's time for the train. You want me to go? Oh, God. Of course I do, but look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. What? Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marcy. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway men. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before. All right, the here's the big mission that we all been waiting Why for. Are we doing this? Robbing the train. The breaking, we could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Jose? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea, we're living. Look at me. We're living, even you. But we need money. 
Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? Yeah, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to... Dutch don't care at all. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. <laughs> Big time now. Here's where the action gets started. Hit it, boys. Hit it. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the Odrisky, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're gonna pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. Straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough. Micah's so annoying, dude. Tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Comment down below your favorite character, guys. Here we Good. go. Now come on. Let's ride. My favorite character so far is probably, probably Arthur, obviously. I mean, but Dutch is really cool. He leads the charge, and he's not afraid to take any challenges. I'm interested to see what other characters make, like take bigger roles here soon. Though it's such a cool scene. The Six Horsemen. Look at that. Ain't nobody mess. Dutch and Arthur. Out of the snow, finally. Feels good, doesn't it? But we need to get this done fast. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course See, I'm they ready. should just leave. Just Cause it's warm here. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. We're almost there. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times are you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot oh, of damn that. money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back. And that's the end of it. You're damn right, Dutch! Safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money once we work out how to cash them. Now, everyone... Shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. I have to check on Bill. Where's Bill at? Oh. Howdy, partner! How you getting on the train? Uh, yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just oh my god, my horse just freaking pooped. It to said detonator. Okay. If you say so, Bill, hell yeah. Is 
So he's gonna try, okay, so they're gonna blow it up to where the chain gets stuck. Boom, rob it, leave. Okay. Not a, not a bad plan, honestly a pretty solid plan. A little risky though, not gonna lie. A little risky. Okay, this is good. All right, that should do it. You head back up to the others, I got it from here. Sounds good, Bale, thank you. Okay, boy. Let's hit it. About time, that was two minutes. Just be ready to move quick and remember the plan. All of you, no mistakes. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now. What what gun should I use? I guess my pistol. Huh? That includes you, Arthur. What includes me? Oh, that's new. No, I'm good. Why are you doing this, Arthur? Just pull up your bandana. Wait, oh, I'm supposed to pull up my bandana. Oh, my bad. Wait, where where do I have to go? What is this? Where's my bandana? Oh my god, am I just stupid? Cover your face, Arthur. I know, shut up! R. Bandana, there we go. Did I, did I do it? I didn't do it. Dude, what? How do I... E. Tab to use. There we go. Have you fr Here we go. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. Same with you, Dutch. We gotta go. Why are we on foot? We should be running. Jump! Oh shit! Hey, down here! I'm slipping. I've got you. Now stop yelling. Come on, Lenny! Shit! Help! Help Wait, I'm... Help me! Oh, I have to... I have to... I have to... Tap! Now, let's go slow this thing down. Where's Javier? He fell! The others will get him. You and me, big man. Stop this train. There's another guard up ahead. You want me to take him? Should we move up? Yeah, move. Move. We don't mess around in the wild, wild west, boy! What the hell are you doing? He has long enough to set that charge. Well, I hooked up the wire, but we won't mention that. You don't rob a Leviticus four-ball train. Oh, Dude, this is so That's sick to hit fire. It's like the six, six shooter in Fortnite. Come on. Well, we moving up? How you doing? 
doing there? I'm okay. If we don't stop this train soon, the other boys will never catch us. I know. Just stay calm. No! Where's the train operator? Is he in here? Oh. oh, that was the train operator. Look out! Oh. Got more coming off the train. Oh, headshot! Why do I suck? Why, why is my aim so bad? My sense is too high. Move up, move up, move up! Is that all of them? So many boys up here for this. You two all right? Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our own. Okay, you asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four, four. three, two, one. <laughs> three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. That's enough. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Will do, sir. Now, don't matter it would be my honor. Us, but you boys in there, oh, no, I didn't mean to loot. want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Now light the fuse. Run. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. Run, go! Get on up there. Search that train. Hell off my train, boy! <laughs> the hell you think this is, Los Santos? Dude, where go to the private car? Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? Dude, back in the whatever, early 1900s, be late 1800s, this is really nice. You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's keen. I'll give you that. Uh, take. See if we can get this open. 
Got a cigar. Big money? Yep, there it is. No, this looks like something. Ooh. Think I got him. Nice. Bond. Thank God. Come on. <clears throat> what did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? Huh. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, what should I do with them, though? On. The rest of you, let's ride. <laughs> Wait, so I'm left with these three? Where'd this other one go? Come on! Die, you SOB! There we go. I think I killed all of them. To do, here? do I have to start it up? Oh my god. Where am I taking this? Oh. I'm just letting it go. Let's get it. I don't want to leave any of the enemies alive because they'll tell their people, bro. Too risky. Alright, so we robbed the train. Now we're moving on. Uh, to go set up camp somewhere else, I think. Um, so yeah, this honestly would be a good place to stop. But I low-key want to at least do one more mission. I want to do one more mission for sure. Alright guys, let me, uh... Let me read your, uh... Na 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 Dude, I can't read chat, got Get over here. Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. Alright, here we go. Come on, boys! Come on! Hip hopity do, hip hopity do. Gotta keep us moving, but calm. Oh, that was that was definitely not. Ah, uh shit! Uh oh. Okay, let's take a look. Uh-oh. Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? 
Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Pick the wheel up. <laughs> <sighs> Nearly there. There. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. Old fart. Oh no! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. Yep. Go to horse horseshoe so, overlook. Yes. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country. They lost it all. Stole them clean away from them, it was. Every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob? So those are the people that, yeah, we don't. that they robbed earlier on the talk. boat, right? Or maybe they didn't. I rob. fear they did I was perhaps boat. trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our blockheaded driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. Yep. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. Oh, life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers oh. captured my mother. Took us to somewhere. avoid becoming hot, wear clothes, we appropriate for the again. environment. Well, sorry, I can't around. change right now. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. When I'm 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marsh, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Uh, it's a long story. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. <laughs> Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? Javier doesn't want anything to do with war or, you know, risking There's a livestock stuff. town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls, our kind of place. Driscoll's? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait. What's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really? So many going animals. To lie? It's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him. But we kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Sad. Me, you, Dutch. 
We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so Arthur's pretty young. He I acts like he's so old. Got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. He's like 40, it seems like at least. What are you working on there anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Medicine. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. I used to take yeah. ginseng. You can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Hmm, interesting. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. Only tents? I guess it's not snowing you anymore. You weren't long, Hosea. This place is perfect. Are. I hope so. Gentlemen. Oh, it's Hosea. It wasn't Javier. We have survived. For now, now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper. Sounds like he's getting a little bit too confident. We were on to something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money and a, a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough. But we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you do it. Oh my god. What a roast. Oh, now it's going on to chapter two. Dang, we just finished chapter one. Do we go all the way into chapter two? I think we do. I think we. I think we go. So we're gonna go into chapter two, guys. We're just gonna go into the first mission. Got off the mountain, and rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartland. Let's see what it's about. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. Hi there, Jose. Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. 
And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> I'm gonna read a book. Hell yeah. Alrighty. So, what do we do now? We're gonna do one mission, and then we're going to uh, call it there for this episode. But we're gonna make it a good mission. Oh, Arthur, my boy. My dear boy. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing at all. For the first time in weeks, nothing. We're Wait, free. Is that We're you? Oh yeah, the you. Is free close. Here we go. to plan our own futures once more. All right, bro. I don't got time to talk. I got missions to do. Things, you places to be. Faith, Arthur. You always kept it, and I ain't losing it now. Hey! Oh. <laughs> Careful not to work yourself to death, there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Oh, sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. Mad that he's take the old man into town. has to do stuff, he's too tired. Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take mm -hmm. them a robin. and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> oh, God. I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> you ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. Hopefully we don't get in any right. trouble. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Yeah. Out to the trees here and take a left. Hell yeah. Sing us a song, oh my god. I wonder how far this town is. We don't have time to get the horse. I'm sure you can Up the train's here. It's really serious. It can be deadly. How about you, Arthur? Do I look like I got the energy to waste on charity? A fool can get his own horse. I don't believe you're quite that cold, Mr. Morgan. Oh, I'm colder than you realize. Mud and morons. I they weren't wrong. I didn't rob and kill the bastard. <laughs> Very inspiring, Arthur. Woo! Smell those sheep. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, Very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Go left here, down the main street. There's always on the right. Or you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. Copy that. All right. 
Here we are, just like I said. The cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. I imagine Paris and so that's how you see right, yourself. What are we Is gonna it? do? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. <laughs> then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? Why don't you pick out a cigar? A cigar always closes the mind, I find. How much am I supposed to spend? Oh, you seem a little scattered, Arthur. Trust old uncle. Let me know if you have any questions, fellas. Buy a cigar. Where's the cigars at? Here's the door. Where do you say the cigars were? Am I tripping? So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? Canned salmon, canned sweet corn, no cigar. Here we go. What are you ready? Lamb or sauce? Okay. If you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too. Bad. All right. Bro, just cracked up in the whiskey. Right Here's away. to your good health, my sir. <laughs> it's a funny world. You know? This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen. <laughs> I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Dene and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides. In some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Yeah. Where's Tilly and Karen? Uh, I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess oh, I'll go God. see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Time to take care of business. You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me. Get off of me. I've been looking too. Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> Who the hell do you think you are, sir? Exactly. I will kick out. your ass. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Arthur. Where, do, where do I have to go? Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Can I help you, sir? You can't help me with nothing. No trouble now, please. Get the hell out of here, will you? Wrong, uh -huh. Wrong room. Oh. Hey! How are you? A 
friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here. Throw him into the fire. Now, huh? What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just me and but stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. Bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. Did you just push me? You just saved your life, girl. Move. I got places to be. I hope uh, everything's okay up there. After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched <sighs> me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. <sighs> All right, now. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Uh -oh. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Don't tell me what to do. I just saved your life. Get up, what are you doing? You gotta be out of your mind. Retry checkpoint. That was my fault. Horse doesn't know where to step. I ain't losing this thing. Bro's a non playable character. You have to help me. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. You know what we do I around here. Never been in black water. We don't save the weird ones. I've got an These guys could kill me. Yeah. I'm not please. doing a bad thing. Please pull me up. Please. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm doing what I have to do. Yep. Those if I if I let that guy go, he could tell his friends who I am, that I'm here, and then a whole entire grand scheme of missions is ruined, gone, zilch, nada. Where do I go? Do I have to go inside to go do this mission? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, there we go. Oh, Arthur! Arthur, come here! Come here! Come over here! I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, you just a toughest teak mountain man. Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. 
Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charmer. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man, I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. hey there he is. Watch where you're going. Take it easy. Oh, oh God. Bar fight already. Oh, and we have our answer. Get off! What are you doing? Pick up my damn hat! What is this, a WWE match? Get up, bro! This is not scripted! Alright, guns coming out now! You wanna mess with me? You mess with me! My carpal tunnel's not letting me hit the F button. He started it. What business is it of yours? <laughs> no business. <clears throat> no business, sir, but please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles. Because Dutch is the top dog. Can. Carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. 
Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill, come on. Alright. Okay. I think we're going to call it there. We just want a bar fight. Now we're going to go on a big mission. I think that's a good place to stop. Um, I didn't really pay attention to that whole entire dialogue, not, not going to lie. But I'm pretty sure we're going after someone. And the whole gang's going. So, that's a good cliffhanger, I'm pretty sure. That's going to, like, let want me to... That's going to make me want to, you know, go out at the next episode. If you guys enjoyed episode two, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and, of course... Follow me on Trobo, Relay CS and Trobo. I'm streaming these over here at uh, around 9 EST every single night. So hope to see you here in the next for the next episode. But yeah, until then, guys, appreciate you guys stopping by, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.